Hi everyone, in this problem we have an infinite series and we have to determine if it converges or diverges. So you see here, the series is written in two ways. Uh, so uh, this here, this function here, 2 over e to the n plus e to the negative n, this is the hyperbolic uh, secant function. Okay, so to do this we're going to use something called the alternating series test. So when you're using the alternating series test, you first have to identify your a sub n. So a sub n is the non-alternating part. So in this case, we're going to set a sub n to be equal to 2 over e to the n plus e to the negative n. All right. And there are two parts uh, to the alternating series test. Uh, the first part is to take the limit as n goes to infinity. So let's go ahead and attempt to do that. So we have the limit of 2 over, and here we have e to the n plus e to the negative n. And so this limit might not be um, super obvious. Um, this piece here, e to the negative n, is going to approach 0 as n goes to infinity. Because you can write it as follows. Let me go ahead and show you. You can do this. So e to the n plus 1 over e to the n. So you see this piece here will go close to 0. And this piece here is going to approach infinity because as n gets big, e to the n gets big. So what happens is this whole fraction gets really, really small and this gets close to 0. So uh, this limit should be equal to 0. And that's the first condition in the alternating series test. You want that uh, to be equal to zero. All right, the second thing is to observe or show that this is non-increasing. I'm just gonna go ahead and state it and then I'll go ahead and justify it. So a sub n, which is equal to two over e to the n plus e to the negative n is non-increasing. Okay, that's the second condition. I'll just go ahead and put a check, but let's go ahead and justify this. Uh, now, whether or not you have to justify it depends on what you're doing this for. I feel like in this case, uh, some justification is, you know, helpful. So the way to do it formally is to redefine your sequence as a function of x. So you let f of x be equal to 2 over e to the x plus e to the negative x. And now you have to show um, that the derivative of this function is negative. That would mean that the function is decreasing, which in other words is not increasing. By the way, non increasing means decreasing or staying the same. So to take this derivative, what we'll do is we'll bring the bottom piece upstairs like this. So 2 times e to the x plus e to the negative x to the negative 1. And now we're going to take the derivative and use the chain rule. So f prime of x is equal to, so you take this negative and you put it in the front, so you get negative 2 parentheses e to the x plus e to the negative x, and then minus 2, subtract 1, times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, the derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x, and then times the derivative of negative x, so negative 1. So it's another chain rule. Okay, it's another chain rule. Again, we put the negative in the front, uh, so we got negative 2 subtracted 1, left the inside untouched, and took the derivative of the inside via the chain rule. All right, let's clean this up. So f prime of x is equal to negative 2, parentheses, e to the x, minus, okay, minus, and this is e to the negative x. I'm going to write it like this, 1 over e to the x, just doing that on purpose, just to make a point. And then on the bottom, we have e to the x plus e to the negative x squared. And this will be negative, okay, this will be negative. So this negative 2 here is negative. This quantity here is always going to be uh, positive e to the x minus 1 over e to the x should always be positive. The bottom quantity is also positive. So this whole thing is going to be negative. So f is decreasing. OK. 
Okay, it's decreasing. So in other words, it's not increasing. So whether or not you have to justify this depends on, again, what you're doing this for. Um, if you're taking a class, you know, it would depend on the teacher. Personally, I usually don't, don't care. I'm satisfied with just, just a statement of, of the facts. Most of the time, uh, this step is really obvious. In this case, it was not so obvious. Okay, so both conditions are satisfied. So then you would just say, so converges by the alternating series test. So converges by the alternating series test. And in general, if you, it, when you're showing non-increasing, this is a good strategy, right? You just redefine it as a function of x, and then you show that um, the derivative is uh, negative. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it, and good luck.